Ah, that was a uh, Stevie McVeigh's. Bit late today, a bit wrapped up because I've been outside trying to burn some rubbish, but it's a little bit too damp. Oh, not to get comfy. Apologies for the hat. This is uh, blood. I keep banging my head. I think I might be subconsciously trying to kill myself. The first time with the boot did on the taxi, and that made that scar. That really hurt, I tell you. And then I went and uh, with my eldest granddaughter, we were playing in the park, and you know, there was monkey bars. We were playing Tig. I was straight into it. Blood. Straight into my hat. Oh, dear me. Did that hurt? Yes, it did. And I keep walking into the boot again. Also, the metal shed at the bottom there. I never used to headbutt it as I walked in and out, and now I do. Either I've got taller, or they've got shorter, or I've got more stupid. Yeah, probably the latter. Anyway. I've got two little paintings today because, again, they're kind of linked in more ways than one. One's a portrait and one's a full figure. Uh, they're linked in, in as much as they're both of girls called Laura. This one is red-haired girl or... Red Laura. We used to know her as Red Laura because she always had red hair, still has red hair. Now, as you can see, no face. Spooky. Right, there's the old the tab that was there in those days. This is 2006, the summer of. And down there, is the angel that all the other students look for. <laughs> so, Red Laura. Thing is, you don't know if it looks like Red Laura, do you? It probably doesn't. But does it matter? It's a painting. It's kind of abstract. It's kind of figurative. It sits somewhere on that realm, doesn't it? I really like it. Well, a lot most about this. I don't know if you can see, but you can see the thick paint, the thick strokes of paint. Oh, I was really confident doing this. Really thick wads of paint. Beautiful. Love it. You can, uh, you can lick it. Looks like ice cream. <laughs> and the other one is of another Laura. Well, as we called a lolly. Now, uh, I'll just tell you, there's the tag, not quite evolved, it's what it is now, and there is the angel. <laughs> what do you mean it looks like a bird? It's an angel. <laughs> well, I should know. Anyway. We called her Lolly because somebody sent her a text message and put LOL. And she thought, what she actually said, I've got a new nickname. It's, it's Lol. It's Lolly. I'm real. We all pissed our pants because it meant laugh out loud, didn't it? She didn't know. <laughs> so from then on, it was Lolly. <laughs> oh, dear me. She was born with cerebral palsy. And because of that, her hand. Was like that. One leg was slightly different, and the hand was like that. And obviously, cerebral palsy means part of your brain isn't quite right, isn't quite formed properly. But despite that, she was at university. She was smart. Yes, yeah, she was. And funny. Anyway, she called her hand Stanley. So I called this painting Hand of Stanley. Which kind of refers to the figure being called Stanley. I like that kind of thing. Is it, isn't it? But the fact is, I invented all of this. It doesn't look like 
Well, the hatch and the hair is quite reminiscent, and the, the shape and the hand, obviously. But I never saw her naked. Completely invented that. She was going to pose for me to do a body, uh, a live cast, and then she chickened out at the end. Shame. Not to worry. Not to worry. Anyway, so that's that's the links really. They're both called Laura. They both have no face. See this no face thing, it's not that new, is it, for me? It's interesting going back through your work like this and realising that you do have this theme, this thing that runs through your work. No face. No face. No face. And the angel thing, which ended with university ending, and uh, there we go. You can see how big they are. I don't know if they're on the website or not. Can't remember now. I've had no interest from my Shopify store, so I think I might be cancelling that before I start paying for it. Because, uh, you know, I've marketed it, 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 it quite extensively. Nobody goes. No one seems very interested. I still think the best way is to have exhibitions and to invite actual people to come. And then, hopefully, to talk them into buying stuff. Although I'm not very good at that. Two of my kids are great, so I remember that me and the other one, not so much. So, anyway... My wife is being entertained by our newest granddaughter at the minute while her mum goes off with the other granddaughter to do something. So that's good. Like easing off with a, a lockdown thing, which is good. As long as we don't all go mad and cause a second spike. We're getting closer through the uh, bereavement process. I've just written a letter to the life insurance company because um, the the, uh, the funeral was connected to it, so I paid for the funeral, but apparently, according to the lady in the funeral place, tell up, uh, there was more than the funeral cost. So we can claim that back, but we have to claim it back. It's not automatic. Why is it not automatic? Anyway, we're back to claim it back. So I've written a letter. Printer didn't want to work. Technology. Yeah. It has its uses. And then they go mad with it, don't they? Who must do this? Upgrade this. Oh, all you want to do is type a letter, press print, print. Oh, no. Never that easy. You always have to make things more and more clever. Which ultimately means that they're not that clever. Because they're too clever. They can be too clever. Lots of clever people. I've passed on my life. I've actually been quite thick. They're very clever at their subject, but the rest of life, they ain't got a clue. So anyway, I'm getting off the subject there. I've just been listening to another blog by, um, well, she calls it a video diary, but it's a blog really, isn't it? Blog, blog, blog. And uh, she's running out of things to say. <laughs> Aren't we all? You don't do anything. You run out of things, don't you? So what have I done today? We've, I've stood outside the bank while my wife queued to go into it. I've stood outside the shop while my wife queued to go into it. <laughs> I've stood outside another shop while my wife queued to go into it. And then we went to Iceland, and I said, I'm sick of standing out here in the cold with the drizzle. I'm coming in with you. So I put masks off. And around we went. And he went in for biscuits. <laughs> Fatal, isn't it? Come out with a few more things. Put milk and bread to my mother. And then tomorrow we've got a shopping list for my mother. 
So we're going shopping properly tomorrow. And, uh, well, that's about it, really. Life goes on. You need to be more pragmatic. Life goes on. Life sucks. Life swings. Up, up and down. Just got to get on with it. And so, having said that, it's now 10.20. Not the time. That's the time I've been on. It's now 10.25, 26, 27. Um, I think I'd better go. So anyway, you know what I'm going to say? Love all, hurt none, walking soft shoes. See you, BBs.